Hello students. Today we are going to learn the lesson Synthetic Fibers and Plastics in Chemistry. Let me give you some small introduction about this lesson. The clothes which we wear are made of fabrics. Fabrics are made of fibers obtained from natural or artificial source. The fibers obtained from plants and animals are called natural fibers. Example, cotton, jute, etc. Synthetic fibers are made by human beings. Example, rayon, nylon, polyester. There are four different varieties in synthetic fibers here and two different types in plastics. What are the four different types of synthetic fibers here? Rayon, nylon, polyester, acrylic. And the two different types of plastics are thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics. Thermoplastics is used to make combs, toys, mugs, buckets, etc. Thermosetting plastics are of two different types, melamine and bakelite. Melamine is a kind of plastics which is used in the handles of kitchen utensils. Bakelite is also a kind of plastics which is used in the switchboards. Since melamine is a poor conductor of heat, it is used in the kitchen utensils. And bakelite is a poor conductor of electricity, it is used in the electrical switchboards. Monomers and polymers. Substances are made of units. A substance having single unit structure forming its particles are called monomer. Many units join together to form a large unit are called polymers. Poly means many. Polymer is made of many repeating units. If you look at the picture, you can understand what is monomer and polymer. The process of joining monomers together to form a polymer is called as polymerization. Synthetic fiber is a long chain of small units joined together made of chemical substances. A polymer is a very big molecule formed by the combination of large number of molecules. Look at the picture. Natural polymer. Natural fibers like cotton, wool and silk are polymers. Cotton is a polymer of glucose. Wool and silk are the polymers of amino acid which is protein present in the animal body. Spider silk is one of the strongest natural polymer. Synthetic polymers are made from chemical substances. They are plastic in nature. Nylon and polyester are synthetic polymers. Ethylene is a monomer which is obtained from petroleum. Many ethylene gets linked to form polyethylene. It is a kind of plastics which we called as a polythene. I have given you some characteristic features of synthetic fibers here. Synthetic fibers are very strong and durable. It absorbs very little water and dry up quickly. It is wrinkle resistant and lightweight. 
it is less expensive and readily available and it is very easy to maintain. Rayon Rayon is also a synthetic fiber. We call rayon as artificial silk. Due to its luster, we call it as an artificial silk. It is a man-made fiber prepared from a natural raw material called cellulose. Since it is obtained from natural raw material, we should not call it as a natural fiber because it undergoes chemical treatment. So, we have to call it as a synthetic fiber. It is obtained from wood pulp. What are the uses of rayon? Rayon is used to make carpets. It is used in the medical field for making bandages and surgical dressings. It is used in the textile industries by making saris and dresses. In making bed sheets, curtains and blankets. Poly plus ester is called as polyester, which is made of repeating units of a chemical called an ester. Terilin is a popular polyester fabric. It is very strong and wrinkle resistant and it is very easy to wash and dry. What are blended fabrics? Blended fabrics can be done as follows. Let us discuss. Polyester and cotton combine to get polycot. Similarly, polyester and wool combine to get polywool. What are the uses of polyester? Polyester is used in making fabrics for saris, dress materials and curtains. It is used for making PET bottles, utensils, films, wires and other useful PET products. PET is polyethylene terephthalate. Acrylic feels like wool, so it is used as an artificial wool. It retains its shape, resists shrinkage and wrinkles. It is very strong and durable. It is used for making sweaters, blankets, jackets, sportswears, etc. I have given you a chart about three fabrics. Polyester, cotton and polycotton. Polyester is a synthetic fabric, cotton is a natural fabric and polycotton is a blended fabric. Look into the circle below polyester. It is durable, dries quickly, less wrinkles, less fading. Look below. Soft cotton is soft and strong. It is easy to dye and it is breathable. Look into the middle area below polycotton. Polycotton is affordable, no shrinkage, keep shape and color, breathable, soft and less fading. Plastics can be molded into desired shapes. Poly plus ethene is called as polythene. It is obtained by the polymerization of a chemical compound is known as ethene. C2H4 is ethene. Look into the structure of ethene. It has two different arrangements, namely linear arrangement and cross-linked arrangement. This is linear arrangement. 
and this is cross-linked arrangements. What are the properties of plastics? As we all know well, plastic is non-reactive and resistant to corrosion. Corrosion is nothing but rust. Plastic is easily molded to form different shapes and it is a poor conductor of heat and electricity. Hence, it is used in electrical insulators. Since it has low weight and good strength, it can be used in aircrafts, spacecrafts and cars. There are two types of plastics, namely thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics. Thermoplastics gets deformed easily on heating and can be remolded into desired shapes. Coming to thermosetting plastics, once molded cannot be softened by heating. Thermoplastics has linear structures and thermoplastics Sorry, thermosetting plastics has three dimensional structures. Thermoplastics are used for making toys, combs, buckets, mugs. Whereas, thermosetting plastics is used for making electrical switches, handles of utensils, kitchenware, and fire resistant fabrics. I hope this session is useful for you. Thank you.